hi everyone myself varna today's topic for the class is vitamin e vitamin e otherwise called as tocopherol and it is also known as anti fertility vitamin because it helps in fertility and it is also known as the most potent biological antioxidant so it is one of the example for antioxidant vitamin let's see the metabolism this vitamin e is absorbed along with the fat it is a fat soluble vitamins and it is uh, absorbed along with fat active fat absorption promotes vitamin e absorption and it is taking the help of bile salts and pancreatic enzymes this vitamin e is transported by lipoproteins and there is no specific binding proteins for the transport of vitamin e it is transported with the help of lipoproteins like chylomicrons chylomicron remnants and vldl this vitamin e is stored in adipose tissue and liver and it is excreted through fecal elimination along with the bile oxidized and excreted after conjugation with glucuronic acid this vitamin a is oxidized and excreted after conjugation conjugation of bile with glucuronic acid then its distribution it is this vitamin e is distributed among all cell membranes including mitochondrial membrane and endoplasmic reticulum it is seen in retina retina is rich in vitamin e so for healthy functioning of retina vitamin e is required it helps in uh, preventing the free ra free radical attack retina is more prone to free radical attack free radicals are formed during uh, various metabolic activities this free radical will damage uh, the retina cells so vitamin e is preventing by its antioxidant property this vitamin e plasma level it is 0.5 to 1 mg per dl next let's see the sources of vitamin e it is mainly the wheat germ oil vegetable oil nuts and seeds then whole grains green leafy vegetables all this contains vitamin e in detail if you go vegetable oils like corn cotton seed soya bean sunflower oil then nuts like almond hazelnut walnut then grains like wheat flour wheat germ then vegetables and fruits like avocado spinach onion uh, blackberries apples and pears so all these are sources of vitamin e next moving on to the uh, rda recommend daily allowance in males it is 10 mg per day females 8 pregnancy lactation 10 and 12 mg per day then uh, 15 mg is equivalent to 33 international unit iu requirement increases with higher intake of pufa and pharmaco pharmacological doses are ranging from 200 to 400 iu per day next let's see the functions biochemical functions of vitamin e the very first one it is the most powerful natural antioxidant antioxidant it is called as antioxidant because it prevents the cells from getting attack of free radicals free radicals are generated by various metabolic activities during lipid peroxidation uh, then other metabolic activities in all that metabolic activities are uh, releasing free radicals these free radicals will attack the normal cells the healthy cells are getting attacked and it is been destroyed by this free radicals so uh, if the free radicals is not in control the healthy cells will be uh, facing various problem 
so it can even lead to the death of the cells so this free radicals has to be eliminated from the body so antioxidants are those which prevents the uh, formation of free radicals or with, or it will uh, catch the free radicals and would eliminate those free radicals so vitamin e is one among the antioxidants which prevents which uh, helps in eliminating the free radicals free radicals generated has to be inactivated vitamin e quench the lipid peroxidation chain so during pre- lipid peroxidation also uh, it leads to the formation of free radicals so vitamin e is quenching the lipid peroxidation chain and protects the plasma membrane from the attack of free radicals the cell's plasma membrane is been uh, prevented from free radical attacks so it helps in uh, the healthy uh, healthy cells in the formation of healthy cells the proper functioning of healthy cells is been maintained with the help of antioxidants like vitamin e uh, second one as we said it uh, it is a first line of defense against lipid peroxidation lipid peroxidation leads to uh, free radical formation and this vitamin e is preventing the lipid peroxidation so that free radicals is not been formed then it protects rbc from hemolysis as we said this free radicals will attack the uh, biomembrane of the cell and it would prevent the uh, cells function it will normal functioning of the cell will be affected so rbc is also a cell and uh, this vitamin e is preventing this rbc from the attack of free radicals and uh, free radicals attacks the biomembrane it prevents peroxidation so this vitamin e prevents peroxidation and keep the structure and functional integrity of rbc and all cells next function it protects most lipophilic molecules which is suspected to oxidant injury pufa and poly uh, f- uh, pufa and phospholipids having pufa present in cell membranes lipoprotein rbc mitochondria all this uh, 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 mitochondria membrane retina all this is been uh, protected by the presence of vitamin e then vitamin e delays aging aging is due to the acu- accumulation of free radicals so with age with aging the free radicals are being accumulated more and more amount of free radicals are being accumulated and uh, this free radical will affect the normal functioning of the skin skin cells are being affected and it causes aging so aging is also delayed with vitamin e so this vitamin e has a effect of reducing the free radicals so it is helping in preventing the aging next is it is said to act as an anti mutagen which prevents mutation then it also helps in boosting the immune response then next function it reduces the risk of atherosclerosis our vitamin e is sent to ha- said to have anti atherogenic effect because uh, oxidation of ldl in uh, initial and critical event is developing atherosclerosis so it is preventing the oxidation of ldl as we said so in in the initial stage this vitamin e can prevent it and thus it can prevent the formation of or development of atherosclerosis vitamin e reduces oxidation of ldl once the atherosclerosis process started oxidized ldl is no longer depend upon oxidation of ldl only in the initial stage it can help in preventing the atherosclerosis atherosclerosis starts with the initial step of oxidation of ldl and this vitamin e is reducing this oxidation of ldl thus it can prevent atherosclerosis at the initial stages once it has start uh, the vitamin e has e has no role in doing it so in the initial stage before starting only it can be in the initial phases only can be prevented with the help of vitamin e next function depresses leukocyte oxidative bacterial activity then next one anti sterility role it helps in reproduction it is said to have certain role in reproduction 
it has a role in reproduction in humans initially discovered as anti sterility factor in animals there is no such evidence for the same next one vitamin e and skin vitamin e is said to make the skin healthy because it protects the skin from ultraviolet light which promotes healthy skin and slows down the aging of the skin so it is uh, vitamin e is helping to have a healthy skin by preventing the skin from the attack of free radicals so free radicals is uh, causing the process of aging or various other skin problems so the, if the free radicals has been controlled uh, the aging or the uh, aging can be reversed so vitamin e is helping for the same this is protecting the skin from ultraviolet rays as well as it is uh, protecting the skin from the attack of free radicals thus it is preventing aging to certain extent next one synergic actions of vitamin e and selenium glutathione peroxidase it is a selenium containing enzyme in glutathione peroxidase it is a selenium is the integral compound and this glutathione of, uh, peroxidase is also uh, said to have a second line defense in preventing peroxidation or uh, free radical attack this having the same uh, effect as that of vitamin e this glutathione peroxidase enzyme selenium containing glutathione peroxidase neutralizes lipid peroxide formed from oxidation of lipids so selenium is sparing with vitamin e as a compound of glutathione peroxidase selenium uh, selenium is as is a compound which is found in glutathione peroxidase enzyme selenium is required for the normal pancreatic function and selenium aids in retention of vitamin e in the blood plasma lipoproteins so if selenium is more in the blood then vitamin e absorption is affected because selenium uh, containing glutathione peroxidase is doing its function so it is sparing vitamin e selenium aids in the retention of vitamin e in blood plasma lipoprotein so glutathione peroxidase is taking over the function of vitamin e so if selenium is more means uh, then glutathione peroxidase enzyme is also more its activity is more then there is no requirement of vitamin e so it is getting retained in the blood plasma lipoproteins vitamin e spares selenium vice versa selenium if it is more means vitamin e is retained similarly if vitamin e is more means selenium is retained vitamin e spares selenium vitamin e prevents the loss of selenium maintains its uh, it in an in, a, in, in an active form then uh, if vitamin e is effectively neutralized neutralizing peroxidation neutralization by glutathione peroxidase will be minimized so if vitamin e is taking up the action then uh, glutathione peroxidase selenium containing glutathione peroxidase its activity is minimized if vitamin e is effectively neutralizing the peroxidation action then the glutathione neutra, neutralization by the glutathione peroxidase will be minimized selenium decreases the requirement of vitamin e and vice versa so if selenium is more means vitamin e requirement is less because selenium is taking up the action with, along with the glutathione peroxidase enzyme and vice versa if vitamin e is more means the action of selenium is decreased vitamin e is taking over the control of all the actions because its availability is more therefore selenium's requirement is reduced they act therefore it is said to be that uh, this vitamin e and selenium is acting synergetically they act synergetically to minimize lipid peroxidase so they are working together this selenium and vitamin e is working together in order to minimize lipid peroxidase if one is more the other is other requirement the requirement of the other one is decreased because they are acting together so they are balancing 
among themselves, this selenium and um, vitamin E. Selenium in the form of glutathione uh, peroxidase enzyme. The glutathione peroxidase enzyme and this vitamin E, they are acting synergetically. They are balancing themselves along according to the availability. If one is more, the other is lower. Like that, they are balancing the, among themselves and they are acting only to minimize lipid peroxidation in order to prevent free radicals. So they act synergetically. So you need to explain, you need to understand what is synergetic action of vitamin E. Next one, vitamin E in cancer. It is said that there is an inverse association between vitamin E status and subsequent risk of certain cancers. Vitamin E and other antioxidants alter cancer incident and growth by acting as an anti-carcinogen and quenching the free radicals and uh, reacting with their products. So since it is having an antioxidant property, uh, these antioxidants are also having anti-carcinogenic property. They can prevent the formation of uh, cancer to a certain extent. Next one, vitamin E in coronary heart disease. Increased vitamin E intake associated with decreased risk of coronary heart disease. In, in, uh, in certain studies, it is said that vitamin E intake is helping in reducing heart disease. Supplemental vitamin E intake has been shown to decrease the LDL level too. So vitamin E intake leads to lower LDL level that is the bad cholesterol is being lowered which is a good cholesterol, good cholesterol is HDL and LDL is bad cholesterol. So when we take vitamin E it is said to lower the LDL level, LDL level is kept in a healthy way and its oxidation is also, oxidation of uh, LDL cholesterol is also arrested and it prevents the formation of free radicals. Next in uh, cataract, vitamin E in association with cataract. It is said that uh, vitamin E is evenly distributed. It is distributed in higher amount in retina in order to uh, make the retina healthy. So this vitamin E has got an association with ret healthy retina. So, decrease in uh, vitamin E can lead to cataract. So, vitamin E decreases the cataract risk associated with, uh, so it is associated with vitamin E supplementation. Next, it is also said to protect against Alzheimer's disease. Next, moving on to the deficiency of vitamin E. The normal level, it is 0.5 to 1.2 milligram per dl this vitamin e in a normal adult stores can meet the requirement for several months so vitamin e can be stored it it need not be uh, available in our daily supplements it can be stored in our body and according to the requirement it can be utilized Vitamin E deficiency of pure dietary origin is very rare because it can be stored for several months. Uh, the deficiency is very rare. Then it is mostly seen in three types of uh, groups that is premature infants. Then if there is any ma fat malabsorption, people who are patients who are having a deficiency of fat malabsorption, then A beta lipoproteinemia. In those patients, this vitamin E deficiency can be seen. Lipoproteinemia means uh, lipoproteins are defected. So, it, uh, the vitamin E is transported with the help of lipoproteins. So, if there is any lipoproteinemia that can also lead to, uh, since it cannot be transported or stored, vitamin E cannot be stored, then fat, it is absorbed with the help of fat. So, if the person is having fat malabsorption also, those kind of people can may have vitamin E deficiency. 
causes of vitamin E deficiency uncommon in children and adults due to its wide availability in mother milk and food then premature infants have inadequate vitamin E stores so premature babies can have vitamin E deficiency because it is they are having inadequate store then chronic liver diseases because it is stored in liver any liver diseases can also cause vitamin E deficiency then malabsorption as said fat it is absorbed along with fat any fat ab malabsorption can also lead to vitamin E deficiency moving on to the deficiency manifestation this vitamin E deficiency can lead to anemia anemia due to RBC hemolysis uh, increased membrane fragility so if uh, RBC uh, I mean uh, the vitamin E is lowered the RBC cells are more likely to be in under the attack of free radicals so free radicals is not be quenched by the uh, vitamin E so this RBC is lysed by the free radical attack so RBC more lysed means it can lead to anemia then it can lead to several neurological problems like delayed milestone in premature infants hypertonia and uh, skeletal myopathy etc next one it can lead to pigmented retinopathy neuropathy demyelination demyelination then several other diseases the main one let's see that is retinopathy of prematurity retinopathy of prematurity rop it is retrolenal fibroplastia that is uh, it is the abnormal proliferation of fibrous tissue uh, that is seen in, in premature babies that is uh, immediately behind the lengths the fibro fibrous tissue is proliferated and that is leading to blindness in premature uh, babies so vitamin e deficiency can lead to hyperoxemia that is degeneration of renal arteries then it can lead to vasoconstriction epithelial proliferation then re retinal detachment and blindness then this vitamin e if it is oral ed orally administered it reduces the severity so it is mostly seen in premature babies due to uh, proliferation of fibrous tissue behind the lens which can lead to blindness then it also co causes de degeneration of retinal arteries that is also leading to blindness then vasoconstriction epithelial proliferation etc in the retina so all this can lead to blindness due to blindness due to vitamin e deficiency in premature babies next one excess of vitamin e up to 300 mg per day can be tolerated uh, then toxicity will be seen only about 300 mg there will be competition for absorption of vitamin d and k effects of the high doses are that it is a mild anticoagulant vitamin e toxicity is very rare